the Army came up with a document that laid out in very exacting terms what the performance. In the harsh, frozen landscape of the Arctic, a fascinating story of discovery and human strength is coming to light. Hidden under layers of ice and snow lies a World War II artifact, a Lockheed P-38 Lightning. This plane, buried for years, held mysteries and many unanswered questions. But how was it discovered? How did the plane get there? What did the scientists find inside? These and many more will be answered as we dive into this fascinating, unusual discovery. The Lost Lockheed P-38 Lightning It all started on a Friday morning. A team of dedicated individuals dared to challenge the Arctic's harsh embrace to uncover a piece of forgotten history. Dr. Stella Fields, an anthropologist passionate about connecting the past to the present, was the leader of this extraordinary expedition. Her words resonate with the gravity of their mission. Each artifact we uncover is not just a piece of metal or cloth, it's a fragment of someone's life, a reflection of their hopes and dreams. Beside her stands Captain Maya Rayner, a pilot whose understanding of the P-38's history brings a unique perspective to the team. While on their mission, they struggled against brutal winds and dangerous ice, revealing the magnitude of their quest. It was more than an archaeological dig. It was an insatiable quest to uncover hidden mysteries lurking in the Arctic ice. As they approached, they observed that the sun had begun melting away the ice that has preserved this time capsule for generations. They only wanted to uncover what had become of the lost Lockheed P-38, but what they discovered left them in shock. The Douglas C-54. The Douglas C-54 was a four-engine transport aircraft used primarily during World War II and the following years. It played a significant role in military and civilian operations, transporting troops, supplies, and cargo across great distances. At the time of its service, the C-54 was crucial for the Allied forces, especially in the Berlin Airlift, which occurred in 1948 to 1949. This event involved flying food and supplies to West Berlin after the Soviet Union blockaded the city. The C-54's reliability and capacity made it a vital asset in this operation, demonstrating the importance of air transport in logistics and military strategy during the post-war era. The disappearance of a C-54 would have raised concerns about air travel safety, particularly in the increasing reliance on aviation for military and civilian needs. It highlighted the challenges faced during early aviation including navigation difficulties and the vulnerability of aircraft to weather and mechanical failures. For over 70 years, this aircraft lay silent, awaiting the tap of a savior's hand. In its belly sits grievous souls who didn't know the beginning of their journey was the end of their lives. Scrapping a chunk of ice away, what they found inside was nothing short of extraordinary. Ration packs and personal letters preserved by the unforgiving Arctic ice breathe life into the crew's narrative. These weren't just artifacts. They were windows into the souls of those who had vanished so long ago. Dr. Emma Caldwell, an aerospace historian, was astonished as she analyzed the letters. Every word is a window into their fears and aspirations. This isn't just an archaeological dig. It's a resurrection of the human experience in wartime. But this discovery isn't just about the past. It raises profound questions about our present and future. As the team continued exploring, the C-54 transformed from an abandoned aircraft into a bridge connecting past sacrifices to present understanding. Each item they uncovered deepened their connection to history, reminding us of the tenacity of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Upon entering the plane, the silence is profound, while the old dashboard tells stories from the past. History truly speaks within the torn leather and worn canvas of the passenger compartments. Brightly written letters and diaries full of past dreams and fears greeted the team. Memories of laughter, longing, and fear. One letter penned by young Billy Thompson articulated a tender nostalgia. I dream of blue skies and green fields, but here it feels like every day is consumed by gray. His words, preserved across decades, formed a temporal bridge, illustrating the raw familial longing at the forefront of wartime sacrifice. These scribblings on fragile paper were his legacy, a gift to us, transcending time. With each unearthed artifact, Dr. McAllister felt their mission's profoundness deepen. She realized their duty was in the physical excavation and reviving of the lost lives that penned these pages. 
We were not simply uncovering remnants of an aircraft. We were resurrecting lost lives. She reflected her voice, a blend of pride and melancholy. Yet the path to discovery was fraught with its perils, a reminder of the resilience threaded through human endeavors. Snowmobiles traversing the biting landscape became lifelines against blizzard onslaughts. During one such storm, encampments blanketed in ice, the team found unity. Dr. Maxine Chen recalled, in those moments, we found strength. This sanctuary from the storm allowed shared laughter and solemn reflection to knit the explorers closer, offering warmth against the growing darkness. Their discoveries were not merely historical, they held broader implications reflecting societal resilience. Dr. Marcus Adler noted, every freeze frame of history tells us how societies cope, urging a renewed understanding of these frozen snapshots of existence. The echoes of time grew louder as the expedition progressed, each artifact a catalyst for reverence and reflection. The ice released its stories, allowing these resurrectors to pay homage to the indomitable human spirit, courage enduring through epics. Thinking that was all they could find, the explorers were shocked to discover another aircraft a few kilometers from the C-54. Why has the Arctic ice decided to be a cemetery for lost planes? This time, it's a Douglas DC-3. Douglas DC-3. Moving closer, the researchers discovered that this plane had been lost for more than a century. Its design and emptiness attest to this fact. Sharing a knowing look, the archaeologists knew they were stepping into another residue of human resilience shrouded in the Cold War mystery. The Douglas DC-3 was crucial in aviation history, especially during the 1930s and 1940s. It was one of the first airplanes to offer comfortable and reliable passenger travel, transforming air transportation. With its ability to fly long distances and carry heavy loads, the DC-3 became essential for commercial airlines and military operations. Its rugged design and versatility made it a favorite among pilots and played a significant part in wartime logistics. When the DC-3 disappeared from the skies, it marked the end of an era. As aviation technology improved, newer models emerged, making the DC-3 less common. However, its legacy continues to impact modern air travel, reminding us of a time when flying was an exciting adventure. Almost everyone has forgotten that this old plane still has one of its kind in the Arctic ice. The plane's original mission seemed routine, a supply drop to research stations in contested territory. But as our scientists and historians discovered, nothing about this flight was ordinary. Eyewitness accounts spoke of an unsettling atmosphere, crew members visibly uneasy, as if aware they were crossing an invisible line between duty and danger. When the team finally reached the fuselage, gleaming through the crystalline ice like a preserved relic, time seemed to stand still. Dr. Amelia Frost, a leading glacial archeologist, voiced the team's awe. This discovery is remarkable. Each item we uncover shows not just aviation history, but the ruggedity of man. Inside the aircraft, a collection of artifacts awaited. Frozen at the moment of impact, a gold pocket watch silently spoke of dreams cut short. A charred leather jacket, its initials barely visible, hinted at personal sacrifices made in the name of duty. Photographs of stark winter landscapes revealed their final destination's harsh beauty a mesmerizing and menacing world. But a diary, miraculously preserved in oilskins, provided the most chilling insights. Its pages chronicled the crew's mounting fears as they navigated treacherous skies in an equally dangerous political landscape. The final entries, trailing off ominously, left us haunted by the unknown fate of these brave souls. Dr. James Eldridge, a Cold War military strategist, emphasized the broader implications of their find. What we've uncovered here transcends mere artifacts. It's the story of humanity grappling with uncertainty in a time of tension, a vital piece of our shared narrative. The team's journey mirrored the struggles of those they sought to remember. As a fierce blizzard raged one night, half the crew was trapped, isolation gnawing at their spirits. The howling winds seemed to echo the voices of those long lost, a stark reminder of the Arctic's unforgiving nature. As dawn broke after the storm, revealing their monumental discovery, the team realized they were more than just archeologists. They were custodians of memory, weaving a tapestry that connected past and present, compelling us to reflect on our shared legacy. His voice thick with emotion, Dr. Elijah Morgan shares the gravity of their find. 
We found more than parts of a plane. We uncovered the souls of those who once dreamed above the clouds. His words hang in the frigid air, revealing the profound nature of their discovery. But as excitement over these finds grows, so does a sense of unease. The team grapples with a weighty question. Is their excavation a noble pursuit of knowledge or an intrusion into a sacred space? Dr. Lena Vieiras passionately argues, this is a chance to give a voice to those who can no longer speak for themselves. Her words underscore the potential for these artifacts to educate and inspire, bridging the gap between past and present. Yet others on the team view the site as hallowed ground, a final resting place that should remain undisturbed. The debate rages on, each side presenting compelling arguments that force us to consider the ethics of historical exploration. As they delve deeper, the team uncovers a diary, a haunting chronicle of the crew's final days. Its pages reveal soldiers and young men grappling with their mortality in the face of war. These intimate reflections on friendship, loss, and vulnerability paint a vivid picture of the human cost of conflict. The implications of their discoveries extend far beyond this frozen landscape. As climate change reshapes the Arctic, more historical sites may emerge from the ice. This raises pressing questions about how we approach these revelations. Will future explorers treat these sites with the reverence they deserve? Or will the allure of discovery overshadow the need for respect? As the team carefully extracts each item from its icy tomb, the mood shifts from excitement to solemnity. What began as an archeological expedition has transformed into a profound act of remembrance. Each artifact is handled with scientific precision and a deep sense of gratitude and responsibility. However, that's not all. The Lockheed Hudson. Beneath layers of ice, scientists yet again discovered a Lockheed Hudson, a ghost from World War II that vanished without a trace. This isn't just an aircraft, it's a portal to a world of courage, desperation, and untold stories. The Hudson, originally designed for anti-submarine warfare, played a crucial role in reconnaissance missions against German U-boats in the treacherous North Atlantic. Its disappearance had long been the subject of wild speculation. Was it mechanical failure or perhaps a deadly encounter with the enemy? As the team meticulously peels away the ice, each artifact they uncover tells a part of this long lost story. Personal diaries, dog-eared maps, and faded photographs emerge from the frozen tomb. Each item a tangible link to the lives of those who flew this metal bird into the unknown. Her eyes wide with wonder, Dr. Eleanor Wright exclaims, what we found in that plane was a time capsule of human stories. Her breath forms misty clouds in the frigid air as she carefully examines a weather journal. These aren't just military records, she continues. They're windows into the souls of these brave men. The pages of these diaries reveal more than just mission details. They speak of friendships forged in the face of adversity, of hopes and fears scribbled in quiet moments between flights. One entry reads, another night, another mission. The vastness of this icy wasteland is terrifying, but the thought of letting down my brothers in arms is even more so. Historian Lucas Fitz, his voice thick with emotion, reflects on the significance of these findings. These artifacts transform our understanding of the war effort in the Arctic. They confront the stark military narrative with layers of emotion and camaraderie. Where once we saw only strategy, now we see the beating hearts of individuals. But this discovery is just the tip of the iceberg. As climate change causes glaciers to retreat, more remnants of our past are being revealed. How many more stories are out there, waiting to be uncovered? How many more voices from the past are crying out to be heard? The journey to uncover these stories is fraught with danger. Our team battles the extreme cold, treacherous storms, and the constant threat of frostbite. Yet even in these challenges, a sense of camaraderie prevails. In the evenings, huddled around meager heat sources, they share laughs and rations, their spirits buoyed by the importance of their mission. As they carefully extract each item from the plane, the team is struck by a profound connection to the past. This isn't just about uncovering history, it's about bridging the gap between then and now, between those who live these experiences and those who seek to understand them. One team member holding a tattered photograph of a smiling young airman whispers, it's like they're reaching out to us across time, asking us to remember them, to tell their stories. And that's exactly what this team intends to do. With each artifact carefully preserved, 
and each diary page meticulously transcribed, they're not just recording history, they're breathing life back into it, ensuring that these long-lost airmen's courage, fears, and hopes will never be forgotten. The meticulously annotated maps, the personal mementos, the worn flight controls, each artifact paints a vivid picture of an era when the skies were both a battlefield and a frontier. They speak not just of war and conflict, but of dreams, sacrifices, and the unyielding human drive to explore the unknown. What's your view on these discoveries? Share your mind in the comments. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe. Before you go, click on the video displayed on your screen.